The Alans Latin, Alani, were an Iranian nomadic pastoral people of antiquity. The name Alan is an Iranian dialectical form of Aryan. Possibly related to the Masajte, the Alans have been connected by modern historians with the Central Asian Yansai and Aorsi of Chinese and Roman sources, respectively. Having migrated westwards and become dominant among the Sarmatians on the Pontic steppe, they are mentioned by Roman sources in the 1st century AD. At the time, they had settled the region north of the Black Sea and frequently raided the Parthian Empire and the Caucasian provinces of the Roman Empire. From 215 to 250 AD, their power on the Pontic Steppe was broken by the Goths. Upon the Hunnic defeat of the Goths on the Pontic Steppe around 375 AD, many of the Alans migrated westwards along with various Germanic tribes. They crossed the Rhine in 406 AD along with the Vandals and Subi, settling in Orléans and Valence. Around 409 AD, they joined the Vandals and Subi in the crossing of the Pyrenees into the Iberian Peninsula, settling in Lusitania and Carthaginensis. The Iberian Alans were soundly defeated by the Visigoths in 418 AD and subsequently surrendered their authority to the Hasdingi Vandals. In 428 AD, the Vandals and Alans crossed the Strait of Gibraltar into North Africa, where they founded a powerful kingdom which lasted until its conquest by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I in the 6th century AD. The Alans who remained under Hunnic rule founded a powerful kingdom in the North Caucasus in the Middle Ages, which ended with the Mongol invasions in the 13th century AD. These Alans are said to be the ancestors of the modern Ossetians. The Alans spoke an Eastern Iranian language which derived from Scytho Sarmatian and which in turn evolved into modern Ossetian. Name The various forms of Alan, Greek, Alanoi Alanoi, Chinese, Alan Liao Alan Lao Pinyin in the 2nd century, Alan Alan in the 3rd century and later Alanguo Alan Guo are derived from Iranian dialectal forms of Aryan. This word was preserved in the modern Ossetian language in the form of alone. These and other variants of Aryan such as Iran were common self-designations of the Indo-Iranians, the common ancestors of the Indo-Aryans and Iranian peoples to whom the Alans belonged. Rarer spellings include Alauni or Halani. The Alans were also known over the course of their history by another group of related names including the variations Asi, As, and Oz Romanian Iasi or Olani, Bulgarian Uzi, Hungarian Jasses, Russian JC, Georgian Osi. It is this name that is the root of the modern Ossetian. History Timeline. Early Alans The first mentions of names that historians link with the Alani appear at almost the same time in texts from the Mediterranean, Middle East, and China. In the 1st century AD, the Alans migrated westwards from Central Asia, achieving a dominant position among the Sarmatians living between the Don River and the Caspian Sea. The Alans are mentioned in the Vologeses inscription which reads that Vologeses I, the Parthian king between around 51 and 78 AD, in the eleventh year of his reign, battled Kulik, king of the Alani. The 1st century AD Jewish historian Josephus supplements this inscription. Josephus reports in the Jewish Wars Book 7, ch. 7 how Alans whom he calls a Scythian tribe living near the Sea of Azov crossed the Iron Gates for plunder 72 AD and defeated the armies of Pecorus, king of Media, and Tiridates, king of Armenia, two brothers of Vologeses I for whom the above-mentioned inscription was made. 4. Now there was a nation of the Alans, which we have formerly mentioned somewhere as being Scythians, and living around Tanay and Lake Miatis. This nation about this time laid a design of falling upon Media, and the parts beyond it, in order to plunder them, with which intention they treated with the king of Hyrcania, for he was master of that passage which King Alexander shut up with iron gates. This king gave them leave to come through them, so they came in great multitudes, and fell upon the Medes unexpectedly, and plundered their country, which they found full of people, and replenished with abundance of cattle, while nobody dared make any resistance against them, for Pecorus, the king of the country, had fled away for fear into places where they could not easily come at him, and had yielded up everything he had to them, and had only saved his wife and his concubines from them, and that with difficulty also, after they had been made captives, by giving a hundred talents for their ransom. These Alans therefore plundered the country without opposition, and with great ease, and proceeded as far as Armenia, laying waste all before them. 
Now, Tiridates was king of that country, who met them and fought them but was lucky not to have been taken alive in the battle, for a certain man threw a noose over him and would soon have drawn him in, had he not immediately cut the cord with his sword and escaped. So the Alans, being still more provoked by this sight, laid waste the country, and drove a great multitude of the men, and a great quantity of the other booty from both kingdoms, along with them, and then retreated back to their own country. The fact that the Alans invaded Parthia through Hyrcania shows that at the time many Alans were still based northeast of the Caspian Sea. By the early 2nd century AD the Alans were in firm control of the lower Volga and Kuban. These lands had earlier been occupied by the Aorsi and the Sarasas, whom the Alans apparently absorbed, dispersed and or destroyed, since they were no longer mentioned in contemporaneous accounts. It is likely that the Alans' influence stretched further westwards, encompassing most of the Sarmatian world, which by then possessed a relatively homogeneous culture. In 135 AD, the Alans made a huge raid into Asia Minor via the Caucasus, ravaging Media and Armenia. They were eventually driven back by Arian, the governor of Cappadocia, who wrote a detailed report Ectaxis Cata Alanun or War Against the Alans that is a major source for studying Roman military tactics. From 215 to 250 AD, the Germanic Goths expanded south eastwards and broke the Alan dominance on the Pontic steppe. The Alans however seem to have had a significant influence on Gothic culture, who became excellent horsemen and adopted the Alanic animal style art. The Roman Empire, during the chaos of the 3rd century civil wars, suffered damaging raids by the Gothic armies with their heavy cavalry before the Illyrian emperors adapted to the Gothic tactics, reorganized and expanded the Roman heavy cavalry, and defeated the Goths under Gallienus, Claudius II, and Aurelian. After the Gothic entry to the steppe, many of the Alans seem to have retreated eastwards towards the Don, where they seem to have established contacts with the Huns. Ammianus writes that the Alans were "...somewhat like the Huns, but in their manner of life and their habits they are less savage." Jordanes contrasted them with the Huns, noting that the Alans "...were their equals in battle, but unlike them in their civilization, manners and appearance." In the late 4th century, Vegetius conflates Alans and Huns in his military treatise, Hunorum Alanorum Quinatio, the nation of Huns and Alans, and collocates Goths, Huns and Alans, exemplo Gothorum et Alanorum Hunorumqua. The 4th century Roman historian Ammianus Marcellinus noted that the Alans were formerly called Massagetae, while Dio Cassius wrote that they are Massagetae. It is likely that the Alans were an amalgamation of various Iranian peoples, including Sarmatians, Masajtay and Sakas. Scholars have connected the Alans to the nomadic state of Yansai mentioned in Chinese sources. The Yansai are first mentioned in connection with late 2nd century BC diplomat Zhang Qian's travels in Chapter 123 of Shiji, whose author, Sima Qian, died c. 90 BC. The Yansai of Chinese records has again been equated with the Aorsi, a powerful Sarmatian tribe living between the Don River and the Aral Sea, mentioned in Roman records, in particular Strabo. Topic. Link to Yansai, Alanlao The later Han Dynasty Chinese Chronicle, the Hu Hanshu, 88, covering the period 25-220 and completed in the 5th century, mentioned a report that the steppe land Yansai had become a vassal state of the Kongju and was now known as Alanlao a Lan Liao Wai. A. Zanaprovsky suggests that the Kongju subjugation of Yansai occurred in the 1st century BC, and that this subjugation caused various Sarmatian tribes, including the Aorsi, to migrate westwards, which played a major role in starting the migration period. The 3rd century Wailu also notes that Yansai was then known to be Alans, although they were no longer vassals of the Kongju. Topic. Migration to Gaul Around 370, according to Ammianus, the peaceful relations between the Alans and Huns were broken, after the Huns attacked the Don Alans, killing many of them and establishing an alliance with the survivors. These Alans successfully invaded the Goths in 375 together with the Huns. They subsequently accompanied the Huns in their westward expansion. Following the Hunnic invasion in 370, other Alans, along with other Sarmatians, migrated westward. One of these Alan groups fought together with the Goths in the decisive Battle of Adrianople in 378 AD, in which Emperor Valens was killed. 
As the Roman Empire continued to decline, the Alans split into various groups, some fought for the Romans while other joined the Huns, Visigoths or Ostrogoths. A portion of the western Alans joined the Vandals and the Subi in their invasion of Roman Gaul. Gregory of Tours mentions in his Liber Historiae Francorum, Book of Frankish History, that the Alan king Respendial saved the day for the Vandals in an armed encounter with the Franks at the crossing of the Rhine on December 31, 406. According to Gregory, another group of Alans, led by Gore, crossed the Rhine at the same time, but immediately joined the Romans and settled in Gaul. Under Borger, Borger Rex Alanorum, they moved throughout Gaul, till the reign of Petronius Maximus, when they crossed the Alps in the winter of 464, into Liguria, but were there defeated, and Borger slain, by Rissimer, commander of the emperor's forces, in 442, after it became clear to Aetius that he could no longer rely upon the Huns for support, he turned to Gore and convinced him to move some of his people to settlements in the Orlinae in order to control the Bacade of Armorica and to keep the Visigoths from expanding their territories northward across the War. Gore settled a substantial number of his followers in the Orléans and the area to the north and personally moved his own capital to the city of Orleans. Under Gore, they allied with the Burgundians led by Gundaharius, with whom they installed the Emperor Jovinus as usurper. Under Gore's successor Sangiban, the Alans of Orléans played a critical role in repelling the invasion of Attila the Hun at the Battle of Chalon. In 463 the Alans defeated the Goths at the Battle of Orléans, and they later defeated the Franks led by Childeric in 466. Around 502–503 Clovis attacked Armorica and but he was defeated by the Alans, however the Alans, who, like Clovis, were Christians, desired cordial relations with him to counterbalance the hostile Arian Visigoths who coveted the land north of the Loire. Therefore, an accord was arranged by which Clovis came to rule the various peoples of Armorica and the military strength of the area was integrated into the Merovingian military. <laughs> Hispania and Africa Following the fortunes of the Vandals and Subi into the Iberian Peninsula Hispania, comprising modern Portugal and Spain in 409, the Alans led by Respendial settled in the provinces of Lusitania and Carthaginensis. The Kingdom of the Alans was among the first barbarian kingdoms to be founded. The Siling Vandals settled in Baetica, the Subi in coastal Gaiaisia, and the Asding Vandals in the rest of Gaiaisia. Although the newcomers controlled Hispania they were still a tiny minority among a larger Hispano-Roman population, approximately 200,000 out of 6 million, in 418 or 426 according to some authors, the Alan king, Attises, was killed in battle against the Visigoths, and this branch of the Alans subsequently appealed to the Asding Vandal King Gunduric to accept the Alan crown. The separate ethnic identity of Respendial's Alans dissolved. Although some of these Alans are thought to have remained in Iberia, most went to North Africa with the Vandals in 429. Later the rulers of the Vandal kingdom in North Africa styled themselves Rex Wandalorum et Alanorum, King of the Vandals and Alans. There are some vestiges of the Alans in Portugal, namely in Alenquer, whose name may be Germanic for the Temple of the Alans, from Alan Kirk and whose castle may have been established by them, the Alant is still represented in that city's coat of arms, in the construction of the castles of Torres Vedras and Almoral, and in the city walls of Lisbon, where vestiges of their presence may be found under the foundations of the Church of Santa Luzia. In the Iberian Peninsula the Alans settled in Lusitania Alentejo and the Cartaginense provinces. They became known in retrospect for their massive hunting and fighting dog of Molosser type, the Alant, which they apparently introduced to Europe. The breed is extinct, but its name is carried by a Spanish breed of dog still called Alano, traditionally used in boar hunting and cattle herding. The Alano name, however, has historically been used for a number of dog breeds in a few European countries thought to descend from the original dog of the Alans, such as the German Mastiff Great Dane and the French Dogue de Bordeaux, among others. <laughs> Medieval Alania The Alans who remained in their original area of settlement north of the Caucasus and for a time east of the Caspian Sea as well, came into contact and conflict with the Bulgars, the Gokturks, and the Khazars, who drove most of them from the plains and into the mountains. The Alans converted to Byzantine Orthodoxy in the first quarter of the 10th century, during the Patriarchate of Nicholas I Mystikos. Al Masudi reports that they apostatized in 932, but this seems to have been short lived. 
The Alans are collectively mentioned as Byzantine Rite Christians in the 13th century. The Caucasian Alans were the ancestors of the modern Ossetians, whose ethnonym derives from the name as very probably the ancient Aorsi. Al Masudi mentions Al Arsiya as guards among the Khazars, and the Rus called the Alans Yasi, a sister tribe of the Alans. The Armenian geography uses the name Ashtigor for the most westerly located Alans, a name which survives as Dejor and still refers to the western division of the Ossetians. Furthermore, in Ossetian, Asi refers to the region around Mount Elbrus, where they probably formerly lived. Some of the other Alans remained under the rule of the Huns. Those of the Eastern Division, though dispersed about the steppes until late medieval times, were forced by the Mongols into the Caucasus, where they remain as the Ossetians. Between the 9th and 12th centuries, they formed a network of tribal alliances that gradually evolved into the Christian kingdom of Alania. Most Alans submitted to the Mongol Empire in 1239-1277. They participated in Mongol invasions of Europe and the Song dynasty in southern China, and the Battle of Kulikovo under Mamai of the Golden Horde. In 1253, the Franciscan monk William of Rubric reported numerous Europeans in Central Asia. It is also known that 30,000 Alans formed the Royal Guard ASUD of the Yuan court in Dadu, Beijing. Marco Polo later reported their role in the Yuan dynasty in his book Il Milioni. It's said that those Alans contributed to a modern Mongol clan, ASUD. John of Montcorvino, Archbishop of Dadu, Konbalik, reportedly converted many Alans to Roman Catholic Christianity in addition to Armenians in China. In Poland and Lithuania, Alans were also part of the powerful clan of Ostoya. Against the Alans and the Cumans Kipchaks, the Mongols used divide and conquer tactics by first telling the Cumans to stop allying with the Alans and, after the Cumans followed their suggestion, the Mongols then attacked the Cumans after defeating the Alans. Alans were recruited into the Mongol forces with one unit called Right Alan Guard, which was combined with recently surrendered. Soldiers, Mongols, and Chinese soldiers stationed in the area of the former Kingdom of Kocho and in Besh Balak the Mongols established a Chinese military colony led by Chinese General Qi Kongzi Chai Kung Qi. Alan and Kipchak guards were used by Kublai Khan. In 1368 at the end of the Yuan dynasty in China Togan Timur was accompanied by his faithful Alan guards. Mangu enlisted in his bodyguard half the troops of the Alan prince, Arslan, whose younger son Nicholas took a part in the expedition of the Mongols against Karajang Yunnan. This Alan imperial guard was still in existence in 1272, 1286 and 1309, and it was divided into two corps with headquarters in the Lingpei province In 1254 Rubriki found a Russian deacon amongst the other Christians at Karakorum. The reason why the earlier Persian word Tursa was gradually abandoned by the Mongols in favor of the Syro-Greek word Archon, when speaking of Christians, manifestly is that no specifically Greek church was ever heard of in China until the Russians had been conquered. Besides, there were large bodies of Russian and Alan guards at Peking throughout the last half of the 13th and first half of the 14th century, and the Catholics there would not be likely to encourage the use of a Persian word which was most probably applicable in the first instance to the Nestorians they found so degenerated. The Alan Guards converted to Catholicism as reported by Odorico. They were a Russian Guard. It is believed that some Alans resettled to the north Barsals, merging with Volga Bulgars and Burdas, eventually transforming to Volga Tatars. It is supposed that the IASI, a group of Alans founded a town in the northeast of Romania about 1200 to 1300, near the Prut River, called Iasi. The latter became the capital of ancient Moldavia in the Middle Ages. Alan mercenaries were involved in the affair with the Catalan Company. Topic: <laughs> Later history. Descendants of the Alans, who live in the autonomous republics of Russia and Georgia, speak the Ossetian language which belongs to the northeastern Iranian language group and is the only remnant of the Scytho-Sarmatian dialect continuum, which once stretched over much of the Pontic steppe and Central Asia. Modern Ossetian has two major dialects, Dejor, spoken in the western part of North Ossetia, and Iron, spoken in the rest of Ossetia. A third branch of Ossetian, Jasic Jasses, was formerly spoken in Hungary. The literary language, based on the Iron dialect, was fixed by the national poet, Kosta Ketagorov 1859-1906. Physical appearance 
The 4th century Roman historian Ammianus Marcellinus wrote that the Alans were tall and blonde. Nearly all the Alani are men of great stature and beauty, their hair is somewhat yellow, their eyes are terribly fierce. <inaudible> Genetics In a study conducted in 2014 by V.V. Alianskian on bone fragments from ten Alanic burials on the Don River, DNA could be abstracted from a total of seven. Four of them turned out to belong to Y-DNA haplogroup G2 and six of them had mtDNAI. The fact that many of the samples share the same Y and mtDNA raises the possibility that the tested individuals belong to the same tribe or even were close relatives. Nevertheless, this is a strong argument for direct Alan ancestry of Ossetians and against the hypothesis that Ossetians are Alanist Caucasic speakers, since the major haplogroup among Ossetians is G2. Also, in 2015, the Institute of Archaeology in Moscow conducted research on various Sarmato Alan and Saltovo Mayaki culture Kurgan burials. In this analysis, the two Alan samples from the 4th to 6th century AD had Y DNAs G2 a P15 and R1A to Z94, while from the three Sarmatian samples from 2nd to 3rd century AD two had Y DNA J1 M267 and one possessed R1A. Also, the three Saltovo Mayaki samples from 8th to 9th century AD turned out to have Y DNAs G, J2 a M410 and R1A to Z94 respectively. Archaeology Archaeological finds support the written sources. P. D. Rao first identified late Sarmatian sites with the historical Alans. Based on the archaeological material, they were one of the Iranian-speaking nomadic tribes that began to enter the Sarmatian area between the middle of the 1st and the 2nd centuries. Language. The ancient language of the Alans was an Eastern Iranian dialect either identical, or at least closely related, to ancient Eastern Iranian languages. This is confirmed by comparison of the word for horse in various Indo-Iranian languages and the reconstructed Alanic word for horse. Religion Prior to their Christianization, the Alans were Indo-Iranian polytheists, subscribing either to the poorly understood Scythian pantheon or to a polytheistic form of Zoroastrianism. Some traditions were directly inherited from the Scythians, like embodying their dominant god in elaborate rituals. In the 4th-5th centuries, the Alans were at least partially Christianized by Byzantine missionaries of the Aryan Church. In the 13th century, invading Mongol hordes pushed the eastern Alans further south into the Caucasus, where they mixed with native Caucasian groups and successively formed three territorial entities each with different developments. Around 1395 Timur's army invaded the northern Caucasus and massacred much of the Alanian population. As time went by, Dajor in the west came under Kabard and Islamic influence. It was through the Kabardians an East Circassian tribe that Islam was introduced into the region in the 17th century. After 1767, all of Alania came under Russian rule, which strengthened Orthodox Christianity in that region considerably. A substantial minority of today's Ossetians are followers of the traditional Ossetian religion. See also List of ancient Iranian peoples References Citations Sources Alamani, Augusti Sources on the Alans, a critical compilation. Brill. ISBN 90-04-11442-4. Bernard S. Bachrock, A History of the Alans in the West, from their first appearance in the sources of classical antiquity through the early Middle Ages, University of Minnesota Press, 1973 ISBN 0-8166-0678-1. Bachrock, Bernard S. The Origin of Armorican Chivalry. Technology and Culture, Vol. 10, No. 2, April, 1969, pp. 166–171. Brzezinski, Richard, Milcharek, Marius 2002. 
The Sarmatians, 600 BC AD 450. Osprey Publishing. ISBN 1841764850X. Retrieved 7 June 2015. Castricius, H. 2007. Die Vandalen. Kohlhammer Urban. Galb, Norman and Omelgen Pritzak, Kazarian Hebrew Documents of the 10th Century. Ithaca, Cornell Univ. Press, 1982. Hill, John E. 2003. Annotated Translation of the Chapter on the Western Regions According to the Hu Hanshu. Second Draft Edition, 4. Hill, John E. 2004. The Peoples of the West from the Wailu Wei Lu by Yu Huan Yu Huan, a 3rd century Chinese account composed between 239 and 265 AD. Draft Annotated English Translation. 5. Yu, Taishan, 2004. A History of the Relationships Between the Western and Eastern Han, Wei, Jin, Northern and Southern Dynasties and the Western Regions. Sino Platonic Papers No. 131, March 2004. Department of East Asian Languages and Civilizations, University of Pennsylvania. Waldman, Carl, Mason, Catherine 2006. Encyclopedia of European Peoples. Infobase Publishing. ISBN 1438129181. Bain, Mark 2015. Zaniprovsky, Y.A. The 1st of January 1994. The Nomads of Northern Central Asia After the Invasion of Alexander. In Harmata, Janos. History of Civilizations of Central Asia, The Development of Sedentary and Nomadic Civilizations, 700 BC to AD 250. UNESCO. pp. 457-472. ISBN 9231028464. Retrieved the 29th of May 2015. Topic: External links. Strabo and Hu Han Shu references discussed. Caucasus Foundation, Caucasus Today, Ossets.